Hi, it's Vasis Tech. I've got a pro tips video for you today. A uh, double whammy one, in fact. I've um, been working on the latest project, uh, which is ElectroPet. It's a bit of a sneak peek. Um, I wanted to add an expansion header to the top so we could give it a bit of extra functionality. Just got power ground, a um, few PWM pins, uh, I2C pins uh, broken out. Normally, what I'd do is, I'd, like on this project here for an FTDI header, uh, just a through hole, like you do, um, a long header pin. I thought it's been quite smart using bent over and there you go but with this I decided to use to lay the connector flat and uh, connect it basically SMD style so then you can take up less space and it's getting more but more importantly a more secure fit as you can see here you can line it up right up there it's pretty solid because once it's bent once it's been bent, it's fatigued and it kind of, you know, doesn't feel as secure. And if you get your calculations right to bend over, you know, to lay it flat, like this one is, flat butted up against it, which is going to get your best secure fit. Also, so we've got these board spun at Osh Park, which is a good pro tip. If you want to try something out, these cost me like 75p, I think, in threes. So uh, just to try it out before doing my proper design. Um, also, I thought, I wonder how thick an S... Um, an Oshpart board is, well, they are 1.6mm and the connection and the distance between uh, a double row header is 2.45 so I thought, I wonder if you could get it to fit well obviously it'll fit, but there's a bit of slack slop, a bit of slop there what you do is, you solder one row get that soldered, and then you basically make up the difference in the solder in the other row and it will fit on pretty well as you can see there uh, I've not tried this actually on a, um, a proper board, I've just tried it on this test board, but um, normally what I'd use, I've used it in the past in my, uh, one of my Raspberry Pi hats, I've actually used one of these, which do take up quite a lot of space. Um, so what you could do is just have your normal header and it'll just go straight on and then your board's sticking straight up from there, so in theory it should make it a lot less, a uh, lot more, less compact and uh, way easier to do. Also I'm going to use, I think, these little um, round headers. You can see them like really compact. I'm going to add these to the actual final um, final project when I get this stripped down and get the new boards designed for it. But there should be a blog post on this uh, down below uh, with some board files uh, on my GitHub. Uh, the links will be down below as well. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.